G'day everyone, welcome back. This is episode 11 of my multiplayer series against Gaming for the Colonel. We're playing the 1866 Paraguay Under Siege campaign for Strategic Command American Civil War. I am commanding the Triple Alliance and the Colonel is taking Paraguay. This will be December 20th, 1866. Right after some of the Argentines had to go home to fight a revolution. Not sure what the graphics are doing there. It's a bit, bit exciting. Um, bombard the Argentines. Not a bad idea. Um, good thing is gunners can't hit anything, eh? We've got the absolutely wondrous weather known as pouring rain. Um, hello, are you gonna let me through here? Sure looks like it. Right. Well, I'm gonna try and break through here if I can. Um, doesn't have any units there. Of course not, it's cut off. A terrible place to put an army. And goodbye. Unfortunately, we don't seem to have anyone to exploit the gap. Hmm. I have to think about that one. Now. What do you have up here? Absolutely nothing. Beautiful. prevent him from having anything up there by grabbing as much land as I can very, very quickly. Or at least that's the hope. Um, he's got something here. I feel like this fortification wasn't here originally. I think that's a new build. In which case, he's trying to defend this, his, the path that they historically advanced through. Um, I've got no interest in doing that, I'm heading north. What's supply like? Alright, so that's going to be 6 next turn. Which means if I put him here, that'll extend 10. And these are still going to be in decent shape. Now all I've got to do is distract his army long enough that I can get through here. Hopefully I can occupy these two. And I'm going to try and cut Umayita off this way. I do that, he stops getting reinforcements, then eventually we just melt his armies away. That would be five. But you'll have to occupy that. Just smashing through is not going to be a good idea. That's relatively weak. Go on, retreat. You're not needed around here. That's how I could, could occupy that ground. That's how I chase him out. Oh, just wipe him off the board entirely. Do we have? We have the Uruguayans. Come on, for Uruguay. That's not the way to honor your country. What are you even doing? We do have reinforcements. 
What we don't have is somewhere to put them. I have all these Argentines too. I'm going to have to repair most of those. Fortunately, we've got plenty of points. Just want to have space for things. Bring you forward. That. Can't even burn the fortification, that's unfortunate. Someone to burn the fortification for me? No? They're all chucking the sickie today, it seems. That's the best news I've received all day. No, it's not. Guns aren't much interest in moving forward either. Go oh, on, off you go. Well, let's buy some replacements. Do I have someone over here? I thought I did. Not anymore. Alright. Argentines. HQs get priority. That artillery really needs it too, but. It's going to take too long. Then, as many of these as we can get healed up. Which is most of them. Maybe not you. I don't know what I'll do with that one. Maybe just burn down fortifications or something. Wouldn't be a bad idea to torch this. Another good idea, let's put you there, then all these guys have more supply. Yes, that's that's more like it. There we go. Now you won't be able to counterattack the cavalry quite as easily. Okay, he's not building a fortification, so I should be able to bust a hole in that next turn. He's probably gonna think the Argentines are all out for the count. Um they're not. We brought the troops straight back. Um, whatever that fuss is happening in the in the interior, we don't care about it. I'm also going to repair these two, three. Hopefully I can get San Solano next turn without without fighting for it. That would be ideal. Tatoeba as well. If I can get beyond these swamps and this position, should be able to break through the... Well, I'd say the coast. It's not the coast, it's just the riverbank. Uh, but if I can fortify this position, he's, he's never going to be able to break through it. So, that'll be Umaita surrounded. And then we trap him, and then we whittle him down until he surrenders. Of course, not everything goes to plan, so I'm expecting a complete mess next turn, but... Well, nice to go in with confidence, how about that? I think I've moved everyone, except the boats, which I'm not going to move. Not really anything for them to do. Eventually I'll break through this port, but I'm not going to do that until I've got at least a fourth boat. Um, historically they didn't do it till October of 1867, so it's alright, we've got time. Got 48 turns, we're on 11, we're pretty well ahead of the historical schedule. Um, this fell in July of 1867 historically. And this march was done in about November, so we're almost a year ahead in that regard. Oh, that's clever. A little fortification there. I, 
I've never thought to build one there. I've, I've played this quite a few times as Paraguay. I've, I've never thought to build something there. <laughs> I like that. It's a good idea. Imagine that one's probably building something too. Well, my main offence if is it's this one. I'm going to bust through the river eventually and I'm going to try and just do amphibs on this side. Swing in, take it that way. Um, you, you can advance through here. The, this position is tough to get through. I think the eastern route... Well, there's a reason the eastern route was done historically, so... Let's see how it goes. Alright. Wrap the turn up. We relieve our Admiral. Um, well, he hasn't done much of anything, so... I don't imagine we'll miss him too much. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.